so low without you, boy. But I'm here and think out in the street. Thinking about reactions and reactions. Walking on the sky in my dreams. Come, 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 my baby, come, I wish to you the world. I'm just uh, calling in from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I arrived here uh, late last night and I thought I should make this video for you uh, just to tell you a little bit about the mission that I am uh, just off on at this time. So for those of you who don't know, Ethiopia is actually located in the uh, northeastern corner of Africa. The part of Africa that is usually referred to as the Horn of Africa, they're neighboring by countries like Djibouti, Somalia. Uh, so I came here because I was on my way to Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, some pro-life leaders who are here in this country had invited me to come through if possible and meet up with them so that I can share with them what has been going on in the you know other parts of the world where I've done pro-life work, as well as also to uh, learn some of what they have been doing here in, in Ethiopia. You see, the story of Ethiopia is a really uh, anticlimactic one is one which is which I find really sad because for those of you who do not know Ethiopia is in fact the only African country that was not colonized uh, by any of the Western countries during the colonial days. Uh, they fought a strong battle, they won, and they remained uh, completely free. So their freedom is one which goes back centuries and centuries. Um, but in the last uh, couple of years, actually to be very specific, in the year 2005, for some reason, uh, the Ethiopian government and those who were, you know, and, and all the lobbyists who rally around African countries decided that uh, they should liberalize abortion. So abortion is, is almost legal in this country. It's very hard to believe, but uh, they do allow abortion for almost every reason including socio-economic reasons so if a woman doesn't have money she can actually uh, abort her baby so it's I find it quite sad and uh, that is in fact why I have come to know exactly how the pro-life advocates who are working here how they are managing to do their work because usually the problem with any African country liberalizing abortion or legalizing abortion is that the government then stands against clearly against pro-life people so I really am here to know exactly what they are doing stay with me and I'll keep telling you what Reactions and reactions, walking.